hello everybody in this video we're going to develop a small uh, project okay where we're going to interface uh, the arm 7 processor okay and with the help of arm 7 processor and uh, keel microvision food software or id you can say we're going to uh, blink the led through gpio in slow interface mode okay for that i have taken uh, the microvision 4 keel id platform so this is the window which you are seeing in front of you is the microvision 4 you can see okay here i'm going to develop the project so for this let's start uh, step by step so first of all you have to click the uh, you have to install the software the link i had given in the description you can download the software from there and you can install it in your system and thereafter you def double click that one and this window will open right now from here you have to go to project first you click the project new microvision project to click once you click that you have to create a folder okay so already have created a folder in the desktop so you can create a folder and then uh, you have to give a file name over here okay the folder is you have created because this file will not store it anywhere else under that folder only it will store that's why you create a folder test too you can create any folder of your choice and give any name right now let me give the name led uh, and the projects will be dot uv proj now save so thereafter this pop-up will open here i have to search for nxp okay uh, then on next my target chip is lpc uh, c2148 okay so i'll go to lpc2148 let me search it out you can just type in the search window also you can search uh, drag and down search also you can do i'm doing drag and down uh, lpc2148 uh, this okay click ok then yes so i got a target file under project window over here if I click this one, I'll get a source group. Okay. Now I have to write the code over here. To write the code, what I will do is that I will just create this note, new file. Okay. So over here, I already have written the code, so I'll just paste the code over here. So just a minute. So <coughs> this is the code uh, I pasted over here. Okay. Now what I will do is that I will save this code. To save this code, click this save button and over here give some name i'm giving this name as uh, program dot extension is c right and saving this the moment i save this the color will change that means it's coming into c syntax form right now what i will do is that i will add this file under this source group okay now you can see there is no file is there in dot c extension so i'll add this to source extension group so click uh, that is uh, right click and then add existing file to source group one okay so here program c is there click this one and add it okay now it is already added you can see over here it is already added now what i will do is that i'll go to target option for target one here i will check output i'll create an hex file this i will select okay and then in linker i will create use memory layout from, from target dialog box this one i will choose okay then coming to debug if this is not selected use simulator i will choose this simulator okay for software simulation in this video we are restricting our, ourselves to software simulation only right in the next video i will be showing you how to do it in hardware so i have done my uh, needful and then what i will do i will go for build if i click this build option you can see this showing zero error and one warnings so hex file has been created right after this i have to go to debug and then I will click start and stop debug session over here. Okay. Okay, over. Now, this is my debug window. Okay. You can see I have taken pin number, uh, port number 1. There are two ports over here in this uh, uh, ARM processor uh, port 0 and port 1, where LED is fixed between P16 to P23. So, I have taken hexa files for P16 to P23. Each bit represent uh, is in hexa form. So, it each bit will represent uh, four binary bits. So, these two I have taken. Thus, third and fourth from this side to my left to the right third and fourth i have taken okay now let us see over here a debug option i have taken this window is open now i look peripherals from here gpio slow interface because i'm for going for slow interface and port one i will see because in my code i have taken port one you can take port zero okay port one i'm selecting how port one because you will see here i have taken io set one io one cl clear so this one signifies port one okay so now what i'll do is that i'll just go to debug again and i'll just go for run if you go for an option you can see it started blinking so f means all four are one so you can see one two three four is four are blinking nine means one zero zero one okay so one zero zero one 
okay so my uh, software uh, this is how i am simulating this uh, led blinking in software of new vision 4 thank you for watching my video